Tanya Griffith and Daniel Marion. Here are the games that you're going to play uh, if you have time downstairs with the fourth and fifth graders. So these are just time fillers. This is your basic cup stack. So you have a lot. So like everybody could sit at the tables and the first person at the table to put their six cups in a pyramid, three, two, one, um, they're the winners. And you have lots of little candies like this that you can give for prizes. And you can play any of these games multiple times if you want. Um, here, this is called, where's the beans? And you have two pairs of nylon. So this is with just two people who'll be watching. At the base of the nylon, there's one jelly bean. So they have to go down both legs of the nylon, one at a time grab the jelly beans and the first person who has two jelly beans on the table of the two is the grand winner. This game is called Pile of Peeps. And so you'll have you'll have uh, plates and all they can use is their mouth. And when you say go, there'll be a 30 second timer on your um, Apple TVs down there. Uh, they need to um, stack their peeps as high as they can. You'll have a ruler at the end of 30 seconds. When the timer's up, they stand up and you can figure out which one is the taller. It's called pile of peeps. And I want to show you that there's a big thing where you can um, see the rules. And I've also printed off one of these where you can um, just hold it in your hand and explain the rules to the group. Here you have, it's called ping pong pass. You've got, it, the rules are different because they were written for upstairs, but downstairs you'll just divide your group into four um, colors, uh, four teams. And you'll put each of these kids um, holding an empty basket in corners of the room downstairs. And then I would put the rest of the group just by this big bag of ping pong so they'll be surrounding this ping pong and one at a time they will throw a ping pong to their corner um person so and that person will be not just holding the basket still but they'll be catching the ping pongs so after your one minute timer or 30 second timer you can count and see which team has the most has caught the most and then bring all the ping pongs back and you can play and get play it again it's called ping pong pass okay there she blows you'll use these eggs or spoon wars you'll use these eggs so there she blows you put an egg in the center between two kids and they blow only using their hot air and whoever gets the um, balloon excuse me not the balloon the egg off the table on the other opponent's side is the winner so i don't know that doesn't seem a lot of fun but maybe you could get a lot of people playing it so the Spoon Wars is kind of, it's not tag. They walk around the room with a purpose. They're trying to knock the eggs off of other, other people's spoons. So, you know, people are trying to keep their eggs away from other people. If the egg goes off their spoon because somebody knocked it or because they're being so wild and their egg flies off, they sit down crisscross applesauce. And the person, last person standing is the winner. So... What are you going to do for all these winners, you might ask, because there are going to be so many winners. What are you going to do? Well, you've got candy. I'm sorry, parents. You've got these kinds of candy. If you've got like a group of winners, you can just give them each a piece of candy. You've got Laffy Taffies and Jokes. That's another game you can play. Um, I'm going to put this set of jokes in there. Uh, these are uh, great Easter jokes. They'll make you so happy. They're going to be in the Laffy Taffies. Kids can come up and try to make a leader or other kids laugh. So everybody who tells a joke can get a piece of Laffy Taffy. And we have just that basic uh, candy that has no peanuts, no gluten. Everybody can eat it unless they're diabetic. So, which we have some, so I will go buy some sugar-free candy. I'm going to write that down. All right. So thank you very much. That will help you bring the fun in the classroom. Uh, Suzanne will be teaching Saturday. Sunday, Haley will be teaching. And then um, Heidi will be teaching.